1838, the 28-year-old Schumann traveled from Leipzig, his hometown, to Vienna, one of the biggest centers of classical music in the world. He wanted to conquer the city, be it as a composer or a musical journalist, and for that he had a strategy. His plan, in his own words, was to become the favorite composer of all the ladies of Vienna. His plan did not succeed, and he had to return to Leipzig without much gain to his career. But luckily for us, among the pieces he composed during that time was the arabesque. Frail and delicate, Schumann said of it, but underneath its gentleness lies strong and sincere emotion expressed in lyricism which elevates it to much more than a pleasant salon piece. Schumann called it a rondelette, a little rondo. A rondo is a musical form in which one section, called the refrain, is repeated several times, interspersed with different episodes. The refrain of the arabesque is as its name, an unhurried, organic flow of notes, one spun from the other, seemingly without an end. Episodes we have two, both in minor keys and both more serious in character. A transition then links back to the refrain. which is then followed by the second episode, more dramatic still, though the drama, like the rest of the piece, is on a small scale. And after the third time the refrain is repeated, there comes a coda but for me, the most beautiful part of the work. It continues a tradition which Schumann started with his cycle Kinderszenen, Scenes from Childhood, which ends in a pensive piece called The Poet Speaks, as if it were the voice of Schumann himself commenting on what he had just seen and expressed. And so it is in the arabesque, half a page of a musical epilogue, artless and pure. Whatever the reason for its composition, I can hardly think of a more poetic work to come from Schumann's pen.